Today we're gonna talk about our most popular recipe on our website, our creamy vegan wild rice soup. It has five stars and 150 plus comments, and it is distinctly Minnesotan. This soup used to be served at Byerly's, a fancy specialty grocery store that neither Lenny or I could afford growing up. It was their chicken wild rice soup. So we decided to recreate it, make it a comfort food for our plant-based lifestyle. So the first thing you're gonna do is soak one cup of cashews. If you can overnight, great. If not, as soon as you can. Then you're gonna chop your veggies. This is the hardest part by far, but it's strangely cathartic if you think of it. So you're gonna chop one cup of carrots, four ribs of celery, a half an onion, four to six cloves of garlic, and eight ounces of mushrooms. We're gonna be using 64 ounces of veggie broth, but you're gonna wanna reserve one cup on the side. And then then you're gonna heat up your broth. Add one cup of wild rice, but make sure that you rinse it off a couple of times first. Reserve your mushrooms on the side, but add all the rest of the veggies. So you're gonna add your carrots, your celery, your onion. And then if you run out of time like I did here, you can always do a garlic cheat, which is to use the pre-chopped instead of using fresh cloves. And then you're gonna add in your spices. So you're gonna use one tablespoon of thyme, two bay leaves, and then two teaspoons of salt. You can add more later. While your soup is heating up, you're gonna start making your cashew cream. So you're going to dump a 15 ounce can of cannellini beans. You're going to drain those cashews that you soaked, add those to the Vitamix, and then add the cup of broth that you reserved. You're going to blend that up for one minute and you can see how creamy and thick and decadent this soup base is gonna become. Then take your lid off carefully. You don't wanna burn your hands and you also don't wanna fog up your glasses. And you're gonna add this cream as well as your mushrooms. So once you've got the broth and veggies, the mushrooms and the cream all in your pot, put the lid back on, lower the heat, and cook it for another 15 minutes or so. You'll know that your soup is done when you try the wild rice and it's a little bit chewy. Serve the soup piping hot to your vegan, whole food, plant-based, vegetarian, pescatarian, whatever, omnivore friends. If you peruse the comments, it's unquestionably enjoyed by everyone, and it's already made it into several families' heavy rotations, so you should add it to yours. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you appreciate recipe videos like this, and you guys, leave a comment. Let us know what you want us to make next. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in our next one. Thanks so much. Bye.